Oh, there's a new viral sensation out of the ones, man. I'm about to do one. My target run coming soon. Cap, when he does those things, I I'm, I swear he's about to have the craziest vibe come over. I'm actually not mad at it. <laughs> I'm about to say that's actually my hot take. I'm actually I'm not as mad at it as people probably other people think that I would be, bro. I'm not mad at it, bro. You know why I'm not mad at this right here? Why is that, brother? Because <clears throat> we get mad at people for doing extreme things, and now he's doing everyday things. So we're getting mad at him for doing everyday things. It's like, bro, what the fuck do you want people to do, bro? I guess you could say don't record at all. But then, no, like, it's still weird. But it's let's be clear, it's still no, weird. It's I'm just fuck. I'm just cringe, but I'm just I'm not gonna be upset at him being cringe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a cringe bucket, man. That's what he does, bro. Now I will say it's a nice flex to get off to the vibes, but I know what you. I know what you. I doing. know what he's doing. I, know what he's doing. I, I beat you. I beat you, bud. Because again. I thought, you know, when he sits down, he cuts the flowers, he said it. I thought he was setting the mood for somebody to come over. Bro, I'm doing he's one, doing bro. doing showing the mood when they come over. Let me over. see if I get one in the like. So that's what he's doing. He's trying to let it know, like, this is what the vibe's going to be like if I was in your life. That's what he's doing, bro. I guess, like, but the, the cringe no, part started, is, I guess. That's what he's doing, dog. The cringe part is that it's not real. That's the cringe part. Yes, that because, is. Because, like, there's damn the eight convers- minutes of this. You see the conversation? <laughs> he sits there and he'll have combos with somebody, and I'm the like. The text messages. Yeah, the text messages, I'm like, bro. Stop. Actually, I think that's what this is right here. Like, you t- yeah, that's, you I ain't gonna lie. That's, yourself, <laughs> that's bad. Either you text yourself. <laughs> Or somebody else texts you, bro. That's not real, bro. No, no it's, the fact is, like, he's not hes not genuinely recording. Uh, he, said, he said, what are you doing? Chilling. I want to come over. No. Why? I'm at, I'm at peace. peace. <laughs> the contact name is Toxic. Troll. <laughs> that's cringe, Troll, dog. Troll. That's, that's, see, that's cringe as hell, bro. But... I'm not mad at it. It's- so, like, what's the thin line between cringe and content? Because I feel like when I be doing some shit, it be cringe. But it's also, like, you got to do that cringe shit to create content. So, I don't know. It's content. It's cringe, though. But all content should be kind of cringe sometimes. It's wholesome cringe. I, the, the cringe part is he's not trying to be cringe. Like, he just is like Oh, yeah, this. for sure. Yeah, for sure. He, he purposely doesn't have his shirt on. Niggas is dancing to music. <laughs> it's just niggas clapping and looking at the TV and all they're doing is inbounding the basketball. Like, these are not real life <laughs> moments. These are just like, these are curated moments to make it look real. That's the part that's most cringe to me. But like, at least he's not hurting nobody. Like, as long as the nigga not doing no asshole shit hurting nobody. As long as he's not holding up a whole fucking line to get his little video off and shit like that, then I personally don't see, like, there's no problem. It's just cringe content. I low-key think it's so cringe that it's kind of hilarious. But I'm laughing more at them. But it's funny though. Like no, this nigga cool. texting back, I'm at peace is just so cringe. That's so cringe. <laughs> Especially when you when you really stop and think about, bro, he not talking to nobody. Look at this, bro. There was no there was no messages before this one, bro. <laughs> this is the first ever message that he, he probably deleted the thread, bro. He probably deleted the thread. Bro. Toxic. And if really that thread. toxic, why you even respond to them? But he has to show you that he's at peace. That he's at peace. You gotta, you have to know. Like, no, no, you can't come over. I'm at peace. It just feel a little pretentious. <laughs> I need everybody know that how much I'm at peace. Bro, the scripted so content, bro. Peace, scripted content is cringe. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No. Man, what? Bro. This is what I do. Shout out to the hookah boys, man. That's what I do when I'm at peace, bro. I lay down, I chill, I smoke some hookah. That's what I do when I'm at peace. He said, he said, it ain't nothing in that cabinet but a hookah. This is 
also like trying to justify like it's okay to be lonely sometimes. Take the time for yourself. Remove the toxic people. That's that's what this is. That's what the life lesson is. Bro. No, that got it. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Shout out to the hookah boys though. This is a new form of content creation, bro. You need to get behind it. Quick, right? This is just like a cringe day in the life. It's of, working like, though. It's, it's working for them. It's the day in the life you don't when you don't when you don't do anything. It's crazy, bro. Like again, you see me rosy ass. That's what I'll get though. Like, why you got roses for yourself? Lighting candles, all that chicken. All, I'm you like, got full course meals for yourself. Crazy vibe over. Nope, just him. <laughs> it's just him. Roses for yourself <laughs> is crazy. I, I ain't gonna lie. That's kind of so mad at crazy. It's just cringe, bro. There's real things to get mad at in life. But there's people that genuinely hate this nigga over these videos. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine putting the camera outside. Imagine putting the camera outside. The one thing that pisses bro. me off about these things, and these these niggas are doing the least eventful shit imaginable. <laughs> these niggas going to McDonald's, my nigga. You can even go to Five Guys. That's the thing that also bothers me, bro. Like you're doing some of the least. He went to Mickey D's and got a fish fillet and came back. You're not even no. Bro. I'm a key. Let's give it a bean, dog. Call me a dirty nasty nigga, bro. I'm not taking a shower and putting on cologne to go to Mickey D's, bro. I'm not doing that shit. I'm not. Getting, I'm not putting. I'm not putting on the freshest fit. Putting on cologne. I'm not doing all that to go to Target, bro. Putting the PJs on, putting the T-shirt on, and I'm walking out the house to go grab a fish fillet. That's why. That's why it's pretentious. That's why people don't like that. That's why. Cause you're you're doing like like come on, bro. You got this nigga came out the. Oh, he had a show. I didn't even know this. Oh shit! He had to unlock the key on his phone. I didn't even know that shit. Nigga has abs. I ain't know that shit, bro. <laughs> oh, guess who also has one now? Hmm. Someone who has a lot of time on that. It'd be the music, bro. The music be taking me up. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you Wait, better what go What happened? <laughs> All right, bro. Y'all boys be safe. What the fuck? Y'all boys be safe. Yeah, then the uh, they ain't done no. All right, Shane, we out. We finna go kick it. <laughs> bro, I'm gonna kick his ass. Like he don't know. Like I, I really yo. do this shit. All right, yo. <laughs> I really do this shit. Like it's, it's literally easy money. All right, man. Y'all boys be safe, man. Oh, I want my job arrested. <laughs> Oh boys be safe, man. Oh, yeah, have a good rip, time. Yeah, man, we better have a we about to have a uh uh a ass shaking time. We about to have an ass shaking time. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my face. What? <laughs> yeah, Kick with your deals, man. Uh, hell, I know that's why I gotta go. <laughs> we gotta have a hell of a time, man. <laughs> All right, brother, be safe. All right, bro. <laughs> Nigga, you better go to the gym and figure out how to develop a jump shot. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? What the hell is this? Nah, this is actually annoying because this is supposed to be an NBA player, but he flopped. Bro, you don't like he trying to get his content created. Wait, wait, you what happened? I missed it. I missed it. Unlocking key on his phone. Oh, I didn't even know. Guess who also has one now? Hmm. Someone who has a lot of time on their hands. <laughs> Oh, that's Ben Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you better go to the gym. Hey, now that's funny as fuck. That's that's shot. actually funny what as fuck, bro. What the hell bro. are you doing? What the hell is this? <laughs> that's nah, this Ben is Simmons, annoying. bro. Because this is supposed to be an NBA player, but he flopped. Bro, you don't like oh, he trying to get his content shit. creation back. You no. know you know that's what NBA players do now. Good, when yeah, they, when, when they're nice. No, no, no. <laughs> when the career is shaky, the age is like, nice. okay, we got to start pivoting soon. No, 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 no. That's yeah, not see? true at all. Who? That's Ooh. not true at all. Oh, like, bro, my God. Donia. Who's the best podcaster right now? Who's the best Paul George. Sauce, Sauce streams all the time. He's nice. Who? Sauce, Gardner, Jets. Bro, there's, there's there's athletes like Cat Cat streams on Twitch from time cat, to time. From time to time, exactly. Yeah, yeah. They all, there's plenty of athletes they, that stream they, and do videos, bro. No, 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 no. Cat started doing this in the middle of the season. Yeah, Gil. Bro, Cheetah, um, fucking Tyreek Hill's been streaming very consistently on Twitch. Is he not in the MVP candidate conversations? Oh, I don't know. I'm remember, you, bro, let me let me, let me, let me, let me, let me 
NBA players. NBA players, when the career get a little shaky, they start He trolling, bro. No. No. Because yeah. he said, he go, he been he gonna say Paul George, bro. Paul George In all season, you're right. Solidified right, career. Because right. I mean, you can't that. stream away from the game. Like, if you're not by your PC, you can't stream. But when this nigga is at his home all the time, he can do whatever he wants. Nah, ben Sims, ben Sims is doing shit is crazy, sucks, though. So, so, <laughs> so that's crazy. It will make sense, but now I just want him to go to the gym and develop a jump shot. Yeah. Where, where does he, he doesn't play right now, does he? Plays in Brooklyn, man. I will be able to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't know why. Like, okay, it is what it is. He's just making like, bro. This you don't have to make extreme, all or nothing type of content for it to be good. Personally speaking, that's how I believe. I think some of the people that did the most mundane things, like Casey Neistat, have made great videos, and I think that's part of people's appeal. Like Emma Chamberlain, back when she actually posted, she just did everyday things. She just found a way to make them entertaining. The reality is these everyday things are not entertaining and nor are they doing anything <laughs> artistic to make it entertaining. They're just playing music behind a basic B-roll. That's why this feels bland, generic, and ass. And the reason it feels- That's what I was gonna say, bro. This is this B-roll, bro. Every YouTuber do it. Every like content creator, they have B-roll. Like, but it's so minor in the videos that you don't notice like, damn, this nigga really put the camera outside of his house to show that he walked outside of the house. But it'd be so minor, though, because I ain't the main attract attraction of the video. But now that it's the main attraction, you you doing B-roll as the main attraction, then they look at it like it's kind of cringe. But I'm saying, like, scripted content, YouTube videos, all that, everybody do that shit. Just because we all know that I'm going to do that shit. Set up. It's not like I'm going to do that shit. him with a camera. He's setting up the camera to have a moment that he already planned in his mind. So it feels <laughs> fake. It's definitely cringe and it's unoriginal and it's it's just bad content, generally speaking. But it's not it's not negative or hurting nobody. That's why I can't be mad at it. It's just cringe. So at the end of the day, like if he was smacking niggas and causing crime and, and negativity and shit like that, then maybe I could be angry about some <laughs> shit like that. But I can't get angry about this content. It's just cringe, bro. And honestly, yeah. like he's probably now going to lean into it more. He's probably going to lean more into the cringe because he realizes this the type of attention he's getting you might as well take it and i'll be honest with you bro as man, on it. we're most definitely gonna find this cringe but i guarantee you women will see this especially oh, if they we, think he's we, attractive we, 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 and right they here. will flood his dms bro. <laughs> that's why i'm not tripping i know what this nigga game is i know what it is, <laughs> nah, is. y'all can act like y'all don't know but i know bro he's out there trying to present some type of lifestyle to these women he's trying to show them that I'm the guy, I'm soft, I'm sensitive, I, I get flowers, you know, I, I set a mood, I set a vibe, I'm about the aesthetics, and I, I, I chase that, that's what I do. You can do one day, you, this is, this, know, this, you know what genre is, this is satisfaction genre. Like, you ever watch the carpet cleaning videos? They don't have to say or do shit, it's just really satisfying to see a nasty carpet be cleaned, or power washing a car, or, like, landscaping a nasty, dirty, unkept lawn. That's, this isn't the same genre. This is just a very low tier quality version of what we're used to seeing perform so well on social media. He probably stumbled into it by accident and now he realizes there could be an avenue there. He's gonna milk it. It's not gonna last or lead to anything, I doubt, unless he's very creative in his marketing. So it is what it is, bro. I bro, think this gonna, is a non-story person. He gonna bro, switch Twitter, his content up. The nigga, bro. It's cringe, make fun of the nigga, but to the people that actually genuinely get mad, but there's real things for you to get mad about in the world. This is not one of them. Let us know y'all thoughts in the comment section below. Not that big of a deal. Some wholesome content. And until next time, we'll see you all later. Peace. Crazy.